Good evening, everybody. Right, following on from my video yesterday of running W LED on an ESP2866, that all went great, no problems, works beautifully. I wanted to try the audio version, the sound reactive version. And after doing some research and some more reading, the ESP8266 is not the best choice of device. That's not to say it isn't possible, but it's a bit more of a faff. The latest version of the Sound Reactive software doesn't work on it. And as I understand it, nor can you use a digital microphone such as this little widget here. So to that end, I decided that I was going to just use the H266 for standard W LED projects and there are still multitudes of things that this thing can do. So I've done away with that and I've switched to an ESP32. And the reason is that this will firstly run the new version of the WLED audio sound reactive firmware and it will work with a digital microphone so the digital microphone is for the next video in this video and i've already programmed up an esp32 with the latest version of the audio sound reactive firmware but i've connected it to an analog microphone and what we're going to be doing today is we're just going to be looking at that the analog microphone very very simple unit has a small electric microphone and there's a little bit of circuitry on the back which is acting just obviously as a sort of small preamplifier so there's three wires on this thing and this particular one and it's a little bit difficult to see because they've they've sort of cut it off on the circuit board i'll just see if i can get it to to focus in and play ball right at the top it is a max double four double six sometimes known as a gy max double four double six available everywhere i think i paid just shy of four pounds for this one including postage meh i can probably get them cheaper from aliexpress i don't care okay it's here i've got one and i'm having a play with it so there's three pins on the front there's out ground and vcc now for convenience i'm running the vcc from the 3.3 volt pin on my esp32 the ground is a ground connection and the out is on this at least and this is a diagram I found online of my exact ESP board. It is GPIO 36. So it's that which labelled as SP on my board, but that's what it is, GPIO 36. So we've just basically connected that up. So there's the blue wire, which as you can see, it's the third one down, SP. But that's it. And that is a now is a, oh, sorry is a completely fully functional sound to light unit. And it's brilliant. So that's how simple it was to get that working. So 
we're just going to have a quick look sorry just while i bring up the page let's see if we can just adjust things a little bit here sorry i, I must get a better setup i do appreciate it, but i just do this from the comfort of my living room and settee so into config okay sound settings right squelch if you don't know what squelch is what squelch does is it cuts off the amount of background noise and i'll demonstrate that now so if we go to my leds as you can see if i shut up there's nothing until they detect sound if i lower the squelch it and shut up there's no background noise uh, it, it makes it much more sensitive to background noise if i turn the tele i'll just turn the television up a little bit okay so you can see it's just triggering it isn't very loud it's just triggering that's the squelch on zero so i'm not going to adjust the volume i'm just going to put the squelch back up to nine and i'll shut up so it makes it less sensitive it's like a filter if you will there's also a gain underneath and the back of the microphone also has there's a small adjustable potentiometer variable resistor call it what you want just just above my thumb and that will also adjust the output level it's just easier to do it on the software so you can adjust the sensitivity and you can adjust it to its background noise the other thing is here is the microphone type and it needs to be set as it is at the moment as a generic analog okay just there and the analog input pin is and this is default is 36 which is gpio 36 but you have the option to change it now i'm quite new to all this esp uh, 32 28 66 stuff so i haven't really had a chance to play but that digital microphone i'm going to have to play with that to try and get some sensible sort of wiring arrangement so i'll just go back i don't need to save anything and I'm not going to bother explaining the interface to you because uh, other people have done a far better job. This was just a case of this is how you rig up a very, very basic, cheap electric microphone to your W LED system to give you audio reactive LEDs. And as I say, as you can see, it works really quite well. There are numerous patterns to choose from. So, that's that video done. The analog microphones, <laughs> three wires. The next video will be the digital microphone. And I think that might be a little bit more challenging, at least for me, just trying to work out these GPIO pins. <coughs> Excuse me, I can't shift this chest in fact. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learnt something and I hope it sort of just inspires you to think, well, if I can do it in my mid-50s, you can do it, as I say. Three wires, a £3 microphone, job done. Thanks for watching, take care, I'll see you in the next video.